question. Hey, Foxy here on the second hour of energy. Fearless energy. Woo I like that. Fearless energy. So um, I am here with three beautiful ladies from the community. Does anyone have anything they would like to mastermind around energy? Fearless energy? Are you pointing at yourself or Nicole? Mm -mm. Uh, the chat box. Oh. <clears throat> I wrote it in the chat box. So masterminding around the energy around goals to set them or not set them. And, um, and Nicole's post that she found and just like the conversation that we were having earlier, I think that would be great to mastermind about. Okay. Awesome. So to let everyone in on what we were talking about, we were, uh, Suze asked us, um, about, in the create energy hour, um, if we had any goals for the month, because it's the beginning of the month, day two, and um, and I shared that I don't necessarily like the term goals because when I don't achieve them, that makes me feel bad, and when I set them, I kind of set them with the attitude that they're not going to happen. So what I um, like to do is set more of an intention towards what I want to achieve and stay open and willing and putting that good energy out um, rather than setting a specific goal. Just be open to whatever comes, but still doing the work, right? Because intentions is action-based. So does anyone like to share something more on that topic I know Nicole said it resonated with her. Suze was intrigued by it. Um, so Lisa, if you have anything or um, how we want to uh, continue that conversation. Yeah. Um, I've always thought of, so goals have always inspired me, like thinking of uh, like the word goal inspires me, but and when it's beautiful, like when it's colorful, when it brings me life, when it adds something to my life and I can see the growth, you know, so goals always turn into something tangible or colorful for me. So like if somebody said, what's your goal just to have a goal, then I'm like, wah, wah, you know, but if it's being able to know that, that I can do like, this is the bare minimum and then some. Um, and I just, I'm so intrigued by saying, so I'm just going to read some of the, what Nicole shared. I don't set goals. I cast energetic projections, context for my life greater, excuse me, greater than any number, greater than any dream reality I could create in my mind. And that's like just the start of it because going beyond like, your shirt foxy today says outdream yourself like so just thinking of putting that out there to be able to say to be open to what needs to be done for greater than to happen in our lives right like yeah. what energy do we need to align with for greater than to happen yeah i hadn't i hadn't read the whole thing yet um, yeah, I love that. I was thinking of something before that I was going to share, but now because I started reading that it's gone, but, yeah. um, but yeah, I think that when we're, when we're putting out that energy, oh, I was going to say in the calendar where we have the habit tracker, like that, that is motivating to me to mm -hmm. keep track of habits that I'm wanting to create. Um, and the, the habits that I pick are more about my life than my business. And I think that that's where the, where like it shifts for me because I feel like I have more control over my life when it comes to like creating habits than I necessarily have of results of my habits in my business, if that makes sense. So like I can reach out, 
But if people aren't receptive or willing or open, then that's up to them, right? That's not up to me. So when I'm choosing to do something different at home, that affects more of what's going, like, I feel like I have a little bit more control there over, you know, one of mine is spend more time with my kids. Now I can't control if my kids want to spend time with me, but I can control whether or not I try to engage with them, right? Um, and I actually spent time with both my older girls yesterday and, um, it felt good that I didn't just sit on the couch and watch, you know, TV like I normally do, but I like went in and I played cards with, um, with my 14 year old, we played a bunch of different cards. I taught her how to play poker. Um, and then I took my other daughter out to, um, Welcome, Alana. I took my other daughter out to um, Starbucks and we had uh, a drink and we talked and um, because there was some communication that needed to happen. And then, you know, we cuddled on the couch and watched some TV together and um, it felt good to actually um, follow through with that. And they were receptive to it. Um, so yeah, but we are over time. So I will pause this. Oh, I think, no. Okay.